To the Gadangbe people, marriage first and foremost is a union between a man and a woman. That union extends beyond the two contracting individuals to include four families, the man's maternal and paternal families, as well as those of the woman. Among the Gadangbe's, because of the extended family system in which immediate and distant blood relations are regarded as family, the tier of such unification could be several strata thick. Against this contextual background, the process of marriage is very thorough and not to be taken lightly. It is quite unlike the boy meet girl practices in most Western countries, where the contracting individuals simply walk to a store and buy and exchange promise rings or such other tokens of engagement, or simply walk into the county marriage registry to get themselves declared as man and wife before even informing their parents. You cannot do that in the Gadangba system. Very frequently, whether it is an arranged marriage or love at first sight or self-engaged individuals, there is every likelihood that the couple have met informally, studied each other's personal traits, or found certain commonalities that are agreeable to both of them. When those behind the scenes preliminaries have thus been clinched, the young man introduces the subject of marriage to his parents. In many cases, even the parents get to meet and know their prospective in-laws informally. The young woman also does the same with the prospective husband's parents. This is where the family or the extended family gets involved. Aunties and sisters of both man and woman or boy and girl set out to inquire about the background of each other's family. The main purpose of this was first and foremost to know each other's family in an informal way as society knows them. Secondly, it was to uncover any known untoward behaviors that might be carried down in the genes to future generations of the couple's children. These days, fortunately, medical and social sciences have come to the rescue and it is no longer necessary to group in the dark um, about a person's background. At that stage, the relationship between the two people courting each other is known as concubine age. When the family of the young man is satisfied with the quality of their son's choice, they kick the ball rolling by sending emissaries to the family of their prospective in-laws to start the process of formalizing the marriage. This includes the following stages. We have the formal introduction, which is Hiejiemo. We have knocking, Agboshimo. We have response and acceptance, Noklemo. We have declaration of intent, that is Shiwo. We have the engagement, Gawo, and then the dowry, Blanihamo. 